guys? Chronica 420 back with an update. It's been a couple days. Uh, we just switched over to 1212 the other day, so things are starting to stretch out as you can see. Um, they come along nicely. I had to switch over the newts. I actually just had to clean out my reservoir today. I gave him a feeding yesterday, and I don't know, I guess I didn't clean the reservoir good enough. Uh, I got a really bad bacterial buildup. Woke up this morning and it just smelled like a million dead fish. <laughs> So I just bleached the shit out of it, and this time I'm gonna give it a heavy amount of HydroGuard just to make sure that doesn't happen again. But as you can see, guys, everything's coming along nicely. Um, HG1 standing up a little bit still here. She has a bit of a mildew with mechanism, defense mechanism, and what she does at night is all these leaves just close up like this, stand up, and it creates some more airways between so the air can flow at night when there's not a lot of light and that UV to kill any uh, spores and stuff. So that's a pretty cool mechanism to have this plant, that good trait. I think I might uh, crossbreed this with something else to keep that trait. Uh, but other than that, we got the sunset dozing on the left here. As you see, she's coming out nicely. A lot of fucking heads. It's gonna be beautiful. HG1 on the right. Things are real thick. Nice canopy down there. We chained her out, so. Alrighty. Uh, Autopot XLs fabric pots. Also, got an update. We got the new ballast in. This is my uh, own ballast uh, for my own company that I'm going to be selling. Uh, I think I'm going to be going with the name Lighthouse Ballasts. Basically, this thing's awesome. Digital dimmable ballast. Goes up to 355. You can also do HPS, uh, metal halide, and uh, quartz metal halide. So, yeah, four bulbs in one. It's an awesome uh, unit. Uh, hit me up if you're interested. I'm selling them for about $200 Canadian. Uh, other than that, I'll keep you guys updated on a regular. Thanks for tuning in.